happening in the mother load. In the mother load with mm -hmm. Sarah and Sarah. Yes. So we're back. <laughs> we're back again. So it never gets old. It never gets old. <laughs> I'm like, Sarah and Sarah. Like yeah. especially when people call. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fun. They're like, which Sarah? Yeah. Am I talking are you? To? Yeah. You want the other one? <laughs> exactly. And our names are spelled exactly the same yeah. way too. So, <laughs> so it's yeah. even more fun. It gets very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so this week is actually for April 1st mm -hmm. through 7th, which is April's April Fool's. Fools. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be so, tricky. <laughs> so tricky, tricky, tricky. So last month was obviously Women's International Month. Mm -hmm. So this month we're going to give you trickster tales Ooh. from mining, Calaveras County. Nice. Not necessarily April 1st, mm -hmm. but it all ties in together. So the first one we're going to talk about for the, for this today's show is actually... Um, it was kind of a sad little trickster story Aww. from the mining times. So it's actually um, a miner's prayer for gold. Oh. Yes. And um, it was interesting the types of people that came out mm -hmm. in, uh, you know, they were miners. They, they were built of a certain stuff. Well, they had they, to be. They had to be, right? They had to be. Because they left everything behind mm -hmm. to follow a dream where they may or may not yeah. have uh, struck gold. Many of them had, what they did is they actually packed their funeral clothes, their <gasps> burial clothes with them when they came out here. Because they you never know no idea if they would make it back or not. Oh, man, that would be heartbreaking. Like, all right, <laughs> okay, we're gonna, let's go down the here bottom go, of my yeah. luggage. Just in case. Exactly. Just in case. Yeah. And what's what's funny about, I mean, in our world, we're so connected, so mm -hmm. close together. We can get anywhere in the world in a flight or two, yep, be three. And you can see anyone and with you can see Facebook anyone with and... Facebook. But back then, when you left, you were gone, mm -hmm. and it was only letters, right? That yeah, went and back imagine, and forth. like, yeah, because the letters would take time. So mm -hmm. someone could pass away, and your family wouldn't find out for months. For months, depending yes. on how long it took them to get the mail to you. Absolutely. And if it was overseas, it could be a year yes. or never or never. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Exactly. So this particular uh, man. Uh, there was, uh, they also, uh, I'm uh, digressing a little <laughs> bit, but they were built of strong hope, mm -hmm. right? And, and superstition sometimes. And some of them were very religious. Even though they were wild, there were some that were very religious. So this particular man, um, he was a very religious man. <laughs> and he came out to find gold, right? And uh, like many... He would go to his um, little mining stake and he would dig for gold. And he wasn't finding any gold, but they, they called him the preacher. Okay. Because he would bring his Bible and he would uh -huh. preach, right? Preach the gospel mm -hmm. to the other miners who were, by and large, a little rowdy. rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would imagine, especially if you get so down and you see, like, <laughs> I mean, it was really the luck of the draw, like, oh, where was. you were. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. and fights were happening, and obviously oh. you're dealing with death right at your doorstep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and absolutely. You got your <laughs> so neighbor you're that's either, striking rich and you're not. Or you're very uh, rowdy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. you got to find your, <laughs> your, your niche there. Yes, exactly. Um, so they called this man the preacher, and he was having a terrible time in his, his mining stake, right? Mm -hmm. No gold, working hard, slogging in the mud. Mm -hmm. And the other miners, initially, they kind of kind of just made fun of him, right? Mm -hmm. Because he was the, uh, the preacher. And what ended up happening is they noticed that he was starting to get a little depressed and a little down, and his hope was starting to actually deteriorate, deteriorate oh, and dissipate. Mm -hmm. So what they did is, um, but at the same time, they were sort of irritated with him for preaching at them, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they were a little sick of that. So what they did is in the dead of the night, they came and they brought gold and they seeded oh, no. his, his mining <laughs> oh, stake. No. Talk about a trickster. So they, they snuck out, seeded his mining claim as stake, and um, they did it basically to get a laugh, but yeah. also, you know, because he was feeling a little down. Yeah. Um, so the next day, he was absolutely ecstatic, mm -hmm. right? You know, the Lord bless me. It was, you know, all of a sudden, 
Um, and then what happened is, is they, they were not disappointed in his reaction, and then they told him oh, what no. they did, which oh, is no. really Oh, no, talk about horrible. just crushing someone. Yeah, so then what happened is the story goes that he was so disappointed in the Lord and he was so despondent that he never dug for gold again. What so there's not afterwards? a very happy trickster no, story. <laughs> not at all. But it is it is like it's a trickster, right? Oh, yeah. It's a typical trickster story. Mm -hmm. the, the, and they don't they don't end well, right? No. You know? No, so most of them most don't. Most of them don't end no. well. <laughs> so um, hopefully we'll find a little happier one for you <laughs> next week. Uh, but no, we don't know what happened to him because Which, these stories a lot of times they, they just, just narrow end, in, right? Yeah. They narrow in, they end. I am curious if he found like a different calling. Um, um, after he this, he might because have. Yeah. I mean, hopefully he did. Like yeah, hopefully the happy ending that he was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I found a different but, thing I to mean, do. And you could also say the Lord provided for him yeah. by letting those people seed his mind, his mm -hmm. claim, not yeah. in the way that he was thinking, but it was in a way the gold was his. Right? Well, yeah, he it's made a little profit. Claim. Yeah. yeah, so you could look at it that way. Yeah, exactly. I wonder how much of a profit he made. I don't know. I don't know. I would imagine they would have been donated that yeah. much. <laughs> exactly. So there's our trickster story for, for this week. Um, and we'll find a few more for the rest of the month of April. Yeah, with April yeah. And yeah. I did find a little bit something interesting about April Fools mm -hmm. and where it originated from. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So they, they believe, because obviously they were trying to find out when April Fools started. Mm hmm and they believe it started in the 1500s oh, when okay. the calendar switched over. Um, so originally, oh. the beginning of the year would start in the spring, yes. in around May yeah. time or yeah. around April time. Mm -hmm. And so they switched it to January. And the people who still were going off the old calendar, they started playing tricks on them, <gasps> and they called them April Fools. Oh. And so they would most of the time okay. put like little um, fish, um, like images on their backs and stuff like oh. that because it was originally for April fish, which meant um, interesting. It, it symbolized a young, easily caught fish in a gullible <gasps> person. Oh, and wow. so that's where it came from. April first okay. is where they think it originated from. So yeah. it was, you know, again, people playing tricks on mm -hmm. other people, very mm -hmm. tricksterish. So. Yeah, which I thought was interesting. I was like, that's hey. really interesting. <laughs> yeah, and and the fact that it's gone on so for so long. I know, and it's just, and I guess like, yeah, because over time it they it, it try, kind of changed depending yeah. on the culture and yeah. stuff. But yeah, um, and it's we're still practicing it. We're still doing from the fifteen hundreds. From the fifteen hundreds, <laughs> like oh, I imagine man. if you did a deep a deep dive into that, mm -hmm. there's so many things that have their roots back in the Middle Ages oh, or, you know, even before, mm -hmm. which we don't even realize that's where they came from. Yeah. So, some, yeah. some, some, everything has a beginning. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, um, on to the events, Yay! which there's, there's quite a few of them. There are. There so, are a lot. So, you want to start? I can start. Okay. So, first thing is, is we have the first Friday concert at the Armory mm -hmm. in Copperopolis. Um, so, their first um, band is going to be Hired Gun, um, and it will be from 6.30 to 11 p.m. The general tickets are about $10 to $15, um, and it's free parking. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So, <laughs> this event is for 21 and older, so you bring an ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And find a babysitter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely, definitely. And then we still have the uh, Satchamu at the Waldorf is still playing in Murphy's. Uh, general admissions about thirty-two dollars, and student admissions about twenty-six. Uh, seniors is twenty-six, and child admission is twenty. Mm -hmm. um, and. They looks like they're still going for quite a while, um, but for this Friday it's from 7 p.m. and it's at the Murphy's uh, Creek Theater um, in Murphy's, California, mm -hmm. and you can find them online or you can call the Murphy's Theater at 209-728-8422 yep. if you want to go ahead and get a ticket. Yep. And those are always excellent shows. Oh yeah, excellent shows. And a theater like we talked about last time is like yeah. walking through it's time. It's walking through time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. 
No. Yeah, so we're going to continue on with you because you have the, uh, the list of theater I and do. music. <laughs> yeah, so and it's always fun to start off with a little bounce in your stuff. But yeah, yeah. So at the Baker Street Players, um, they which is above Hine and Company in Jackson, which mm -hmm. is, if you haven't been in there, it's oh, just it's so amazing. It's, it's awesome. They've done such a good job. It feels like you're stepping back into, like, an English... Uh, like, like a Victorian uh, street, mm -hmm. actually. It, and they, mm -hmm. it, if you've ever been to the um, the Victorian fairs that they used to have in San Francisco at the Cow Palace, I can't remember their exact names though, but it was like the Victorian fairs. It's just like that. And they would turn the whole interior of the Cow Palace. Now, I'm dating myself because I don't think they have anything at the Cow Palace anymore. I think they have something anymore. similar that they still do. I think it's the Dickens. The Dickens Fair. That's so they're exactly still doing that. Yeah, they're okay. still doing it. Okay. Um, but they would turn the whole interior of the Cow Palace into a Victorian city. That's so cool. I've always amazing. wanted to go this. Always. Yes. And when I first went into the upstairs of Hein and Company, mm -hmm. it's it's such a similar feel. It's so you know, neat. It's, it's really so cool. Neat. We used to do writers meetings there, mm -hmm. and um, it was like the coolest spot to yeah. go and do a meeting because you, you were like. Yeah. You got your creative show. Yeah. yeah. And but the shops are like you like they have the, the tea shop. shops. You yeah. can go in and then they have the the, the pub. pub. The pub, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. it's really, really cool. But they it are is. doing um Baskerville Sherlock Holmes Mystery. Um, oh, cool. And it is this April 1st through May 14th. So you definitely have time. Yeah. Um, but it does start this Friday. Mm -hmm. Um in the curtains open or it's 7 p.m. curtain. Doors open at 6 30 p.m. Um, and they also have a matinee, which is 2 p.m. curtain, and the doors open at 1.30. Um, and again, this is in Jackson. Uh, the tickets are about $28 for generals. Of seniors are about 24 and mm -hmm. students are 20 Oh, um, nice. So you, they give a little discount. They then. do, yeah, yeah. It's always nice. It's cool. And then you can find them at bakerstreetwest.com if you want to buy online, I assume, or call mm -hmm. or find any more information. But yeah. That should be a lot of fun. That should be. That mm -hmm. should be. So, you know, we are... Fully into theater season. <laughs> we are, and especially as the, like more springtime comes, yes. and it gets, the amphitheater is going to be opening up. Oh yeah, I, like, that's my favorite yes, time is when absolutely. you can bring a picnic and a bottle mm -hmm. of wine and mm -hmm. just and oh, just go out and it. enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the long evenings. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. So we're just going to get more and more plays. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> music and plays. Music and plays, absolutely. Because you can't forget that in the summer we have the arts councils have mm -hmm. all their free, free musics in the park. Oh, in it. Tuolumne, Calaveras, and Amador, and they're usually on different nights of the week. So mm -hmm. you can go to a free concert by awesome musicians all the time <laughs> in the summer, for it's sure. So cool! Like, and they also have like dancing in the street in yeah. Amador City, mm -hmm. and, and like we talked about before, is I mean, if you go to the senior centers, most of the time they have classes on dancing. Yes, uh, I think it was the hula is what we talked about last week, yep. and we have line dancing. Line dancing. Um, yeah. So we can At the this, miners miners lounge. Yep. So this community angels. definitely has a whole bunch to offer just to be out yeah. and enjoying and exactly. moving and and a lot of it's free. Yes. <laughs> Which is always good. It's always good. We like free. Yeah, we, like we like free. free. <laughs> so what do you oh. got? Well, um, actually, we are also entering the craft fair. Yay! Period. Mm -hmm. So we have a really cool spring craft fair down in Valley Springs on April 2nd. And it's from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on uh, Paloma Road. Ooh. And uh, admission is free. All ages oh, are welcome. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and there's just some really cool things. There's gonna be they're gonna be selling tumblers and clothing and jewelry and all sorts of local vendors. So um, make sure you try and check that out. And it, I mean, one nice thing about craft craft fairs is you will find something so unique there. Like it's not something where you can just look on Amazon. And I mean, you find these pieces yeah. that. You You're just, not going to find anywhere else. No, not at all. No. Not at all. And then actually in Copper on April 3rd, they're having a craft night, Ooh. which is kind of cool. It's from 5.30 to 8 p.m. And it's uh, to make an Easter door hanger. Oh, that's fun. Which is Easter fun. is right around the corner. Right around mm -hmm. the corner. Um, so there are two different designs you can pick from. And I'm going to make try and make this a little... 
Well, I turned it sideways. And it's super yeah. cute. Like it's, it's yeah, like they're, they're cute wooden, little bunnies. Yeah. It's like this wooden, <laughs> wooden round piece mm -hmm. with these, like it says welcome with the flowers and has mm -hmm. bunny ears. And it's adorable. Like yeah. it's absolutely, it's something you can hang up every year. Yes, and it looks like it's at um, Copper's Ice Cream and Candy. Ooh, fun. And they have a cool little Copper dog there. It's, Do a, it's a dog called Copper. Huh. And he went viral on Instagram Did last really? year. <laughs> or maybe it was a year and a half ago. It was the coolest thing to see. I think he has a TikTok channel too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, but he's this little dog. Well, he's not little. He's a golden retriever. And he's just the cutest thing. He's like the unofficial mayor of Copperopolis. Oh, so cute. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so it's in his ice cream joint on uh, April 3rd at 5.30 to 8. It doesn't say a cost. I imagine there is a cost. I imagine, especially um, for supplies. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So you can call 209-694-5783 or um, contact Copper's Ice Cream and Candy and Copper to find out more. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds so much fun. So, and there are, there's actually so much. It's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to choose next? Um, this is actually something that's coming up at the end of the week, at the end of at the beginning of May, sorry, mm -hmm. it's actually May seventh, but they're actually they're selling out. So the yeah, tickets get, sell out really get it fast now. for this event. It's over in Amador's, Amador. It's the Four Fires event, mm -hmm. um, and it is phenomenal. If you've never gone, it's, I have a gun. I have local. to go check it yeah, out. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it, it's local um, wineries and local food people, but it's all has to do with fire. Like, huh. um, they cook over fire. Oh, wow. That's what the four fires is okay. about. I actually wrote an article about it years ago. I wish I thought I had pulled it up because <laughs> I can tell you more <laughs> about we're going to have fire. more time because you can pull yeah. it up next week because it exactly. is on May 7th, mm -hmm. uh, but like Sarah said, is you need to get your tickets now. Yeah, and, and you can buy your tickets at amadorfourfires.com and, and this year, actually, they're celebrating the four regions that inspired the wines of Amador, oh, which is cool, cool which is Italy, uh, the Rhone area of France, um, Iberia, and Heritage, California. Nice. You know, and it is um, believed that the oldest wine grape vine exists in the Shenandoah Valley. I did not know that. That is the story. There are some conflicting. Uh, I would imagine there's always conflicting uh, uh, numbers, especially when it yeah, comes to wine. Yeah, I was <laughs> wine and fish. Wine and fish. <laughs> wine and fish. It was. Uh, I was really surprised to find out that Livermore claims to be one of the original winery areas in California huh. too. And I was like, I don't know about that, <laughs> but they they may. <laughs> but I think we we were right in there in mm -hmm. the eight, early 1850s in Calaveras Amador. And Tuolumne. Which makes sense, especially mm -hmm. with, I think it was Pan Lady with Pantalona. Mm -hmm. Pantalona, she, she made wine. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was in the 1800s. So. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and it was the miners who were like, oh, we don't like mining. Or they came over and they figured out that they could sell wine to which the miners. Which makes sense. Which makes sense. <laughs> you yes. know what I mean? <laughs> absolutely. Oh, man. So we also yeah. have the Sheriff's Association dinner dance. Yeah, this is always fun, and this sells out pretty quickly, too. And so. that's this Saturday, April 2nd, mm -hmm. um, at the San Andreas Town Hall. Um, yeah. It's a no-host cocktails from 5 to 6, dinner's at 6 to 8, and dance is from 8 to midnight, so get your dancing shoes and kick it up. Mm -hmm. It's a tri-tip mm -hmm. and pork and all the fixings uh, for dinner, and it's 20 bucks a person. Yeah. It's a raffles, auctions, cash store prize, um, music, so yeah. all that fun jazz. And it's a fundraiser, too. Mm -hmm. So you can't get wrong, go no. wrong with that. You no, can't. Not at all, not at all. So, and the tickets are being pre-sold by the DSA board members, and you can contact them at 209-754-6358. Um, yeah, and it's going to be a really super fun and exciting event, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, that one is always a big, big event. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, there is a family art night Ooh. Uh, from the Strengthening Calaveras family, first five Calaveras, uh, Monday, April 4th, from 5.30 to 6. And it's just a really cool act, uh, kind of activity that you can bring your family to, and... You can bring uh, paper bags, notebooks, coloring pencils, whatever, and learn how to create 
something special nice. and unique. And that's really, I love those mm -hmm. events, especially when you can just plan it around your yeah. kids mm -hmm. and it's a whole group effort. And the whole family and can go. And the whole go. family can go. You don't have to find a babysitter and you can yeah. just be like, let's, yeah, let's go, have go enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I have a, another play for another you guys. Play. <laughs> <laughs> it's at the Fourth Wall Entertainment. Um, in its beauty and the bloodshed. Oh, and goodness. it goes, you are just not. Up your alley. I know it's just up my alley. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and it's a, you are not out of the woods yet, princess. Oh. And so this is April second. It's when it starts, and it's actually an interactive murder mystery. Oh, cool. So dinner, entertainment, dancing. Um, and it's fifty-five dollars for singles and a hundred dollars for a couple. Mm -hmm. um, and you can find them at fourthwalltrope.com. Or calaverasmet.com, mm -hmm. or you can call them at 209 754 5555 if you want more information. Yeah, and those are really fun plays. I've never mm -hmm. actually gone to one myself, but I've I heard love. they are so much fun. I love yeah. those murder mysteries, mm -hmm. it's just really and it's so much company fun. used to use, do some of those. I too. think they might have, especially before COVID, they did. I mean, a lot of things yeah, have just kind of kind disappeared, of and now they're way. kind yeah. of re blooming, mm -hmm. which is. Fun to see. It's fun to see. Because it, yeah. you miss it. You're like, oh, okay. Oh, and then, oh, then you forget about it. Then, then you, you forget about it. it and then you're, you're like, again. oh. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be a lot of fun. And that's, again, April 2nd. And it's uh, Beauty in the Bloodshed. That's the fourth wall. <laughs> and um, if you don't know, our historical societies have a lot of really cool lectures that they, um, they put on. Uh, they have lecture series. The Angels Camp lecture series is going on right now. It's, I believe, the first Sunday of every month. You can actually see um, one of our independent videographers, producers, actually mm -hmm. goes out and films them. So you can see them on our YouTube channel, Calaveras Community TV, and also on um, our channels. But the next lecture is actually on April 3rd at the Angels Camp Museum. And it's about the American Dude Ranch. Which and Lynn Downey is, is going so cool. to be the one who's going to be doing the lecture. And it says a touch of the cowboy and the thrill of the Old West. There you go. So that should be a really interesting mm -hmm. lecture. So um, that actually does have a cost associated with it, which uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think I can pull it up right now. There it is. There it is. And that's going to be $10. At yeah, the carriage $10. house. At the carriage house. And the doors open at 1.30. Mm -hmm. um, and the tickets are not available at the museum's main entrance. So you have to contact Gina mm -hmm. at 925-788-6344. Or you can email her um, with uh, at Gina at millionmarketing.com for more information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, again, that is with the... Angels Camp. Angels Camp Museum, Museum. Foundation. And, and then there's also the Calaveras Historical Society. They have their lectures, I believe it's the fourth Thursday of every month, and that's a dinner nice. and lecture. And we will talk more about the next one at the as that comes a little closer <laughs> to the end of April. But um, their speaker, I believe, is someone from East Bay Mud. Well, that's cool. Which will be fascinating because East Bay Mud knows all about all of the dams up here. That's cool. And they actually have Lake Comanche, Lake Pardee. They actually are the ones that own those. <laughs> and many other waterways <laughs> in our area, too. We won't get into that. No. <laughs> water wars. Yeah, we don't want water wars. Yeah. No. But um, speaking of water, mm -hmm. we do have fly fishing classes. Oh, cool. So we have those, and it's the Amador Fly Fishers. And they are this Saturday and Sunday, April 2nd and 3rd, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and um, it is fishing outings at local sports to practice what you've learned. Mm -hmm. And it is, I think it looks like it's free. No, it's $100. So it is not free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and their location is they're going to meet at the Amador Legion Post 101 um, at, in Jackson. Mm -hmm. And then what they do is they teach you uh, methods. They have experience in um, instructors. And yeah, so they teach you how to fly fish. 
That's cool. Yeah. That is not an easy thing. No. At all. No, no, I don't have the patience. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I can see, like, the joy out of it, too. And I, it's more than just throwing the line in and waiting. There's an art There's to an it. There's an art to it. It's the way you make it look like, like yeah, yeah. Make, you make you make it look like a little insect on mm-hmm. top of the water. And you almost skim it. Yes. So it's really fascinating, mm-hmm. the technique to it. Um, and it's you, you have to know what you're doing. Yes. Otherwise, it's not... <laughs> Not going to work the way you want it to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, um, and then we did also want to mention that the Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog mm-hmm. Jubilee is coming. is coming up in May, and it may seem like it's a long way away, but it's not. No. Especially <clears throat> if you want to participate or turn in um, oh, baked yeah. goods or crafts or artwork. participate in artwork or livestock or mm-hmm. whatever you want to exhibit there. A lot of the dates are coming up very very quickly in the the first two weeks of April and and into the you know beginning of, of May so make sure you go on to their their website mm-hmm. yeah and, and check out the, and your dates out, and times yeah. of when you have to have the submission dates because if you do miss your deadline you're out of luck you're out of luck they gotta wait a whole year, a whole year. <laughs> yeah. and there are no ex- exceptions no. no exceptions um but i did want to actually touch on this so you can put it on your calendar mm-hmm. it's actually late in april it's saturday april 30th and there will be a jumping frog jubilee exhibit Ooh. or exhibition i should say um, at the Angels Camp Museum from 11 to 2 p.m. There is an awesome new exhibition that highlights the frogs and the oh, Jumping wow. Frog Jubilee and Angels Camp. And they have put it on the museum grounds and it's really wonderful cool. to walk through. It's, it's really awesome. So That sounds really neat. Yeah, so um, it's the first exhibit de- dedicated exclusively to the Jumping Frog Jubilee and this is the celebration launch of it. So nice. there should be a lot of people there and it should be a really cool event to go to. So make sure you put it on your calendar for Saturday, April 30th from 11 to 2. Perfect. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah and I mean, the frog jump's been around for a long uh, time. Since the early 1900s, mm-hmm. and I think they only took a couple years off during World War II. Wow. Something like that. Which would make sense. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. some of our stuff from the archives are from like 1954. Yes. So yeah, that is really <laughs> neat to see. Yeah, it's especially how it's evolved. Absolutely. 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 For sure. Sure. I'm excited. It's yeah. always a yeah. fun it's weekend. It's always a fun weekend. <laughs> and um, what's interesting is there seems to be more and more documentary filmmakers featuring the frog jump in their documentaries. Which is, which is kind cool. of, in, yeah, it's cool. cool. It's so unique. Like, yeah, and they don't see it anywhere Mark Twain. else in the world. <laughs> <Mark> Twain, <laughs> he's only here for like 90 days yeah. or 120 days. Like, and... Who else would have been like, you know what? Let's make a fair about a frog jump. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, or uh, who else would have said, let's write a story about a jumping yeah. frog, <laughs> which made his career. Yeah. I mean, and there was... Because there was no copyright back then, it just went, it just went from newspaper to newspaper. He didn't get compensated, but, but there's a well lesson known. in well known. Mm-hmm. So it it it's he's a fascinating story yes. too. <laughs> but anyway, so we move on. <laughs> we might have to do that when Frog Jump comes up closer. Oh yeah, just for sure. Give a little tidbit. give a little tidbit about Mark Twain. Oh. Yeah. Um, this Saturday at the Very Valley, they have live music. Oh, cool. um, which I think we touched about it last week. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's Saturday from 1 to 4. Um, and it's, again, in Vera Valley Resort. So if you're looking to just sit back and relax and still get a little bit of mm-hmm. a cooler weather because it is going to start warming up yeah. more and more. Cool. Um, and then it's a little bit, let's see. And then we still have the Art Spirit Show happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is at the Calaveras County Arts Council is um, is putting it on, and it's the Art Spirit Show, and it showcases um, Calaveras teens through um, March and April, and it will go on through April fourth. So this will be its last running weekend. Oh, cool! Um, and it's from four to, uh, or three thirty to six p.m. in the 
Um, on April 4th is when they're doing the awards presentation at 4.30. So the gallery is from 11 to 5. Okay. Um, and, yeah, you can check them out at calabarisarts.org um, mm -hmm. if you want more information. Um, so, yeah, check out our local artwork. Yeah, and they're also, they have a artist call for entry into the Guitars Unstrung, hmm. uh, which uh, exhibit, which is, uh, the deadline is June 1st, uh, 2022. So you have your, you have a little bit of time if you're an artist and you want to actually participate in this particular <clears throat> event. But it actually, it, it's a fundraising project for the Calaveras Youth Organization to, I believe it's to actually, um, give guitars, yeah, new, new student guitars for the gar, de, car, uh, guitar class, say that five times fast, <laughs> at Calaveras High School. That's cool. Yeah, yeah so, so it definitely has a good cause. Yeah, apparently there's 10 student guitars that they can't even play anymore at the high school. So this oh, event wow. is to try and get those guitars replaced. Which is, I mean, mm -hmm. talk about a creative way to make resources for our youth. Yeah. So, yeah. And it all centers around, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the artwork centers around altered guitars. They feature guitars, oh, wow. right? So make sure you, if you're an artist and you want to participate, you have a little bit of time, June 1st, 2022. And then after that, they will be for sale at the gallery. So oh, any nice. musicians out there who really want guitar themed artwork, head on yes. down there and you can find some, I'm sure you're going to find some really interesting things. With all of our, the pubs and the local. Oh yeah. Yeah. If sure. you guys are um, working there or own it, that mm -hmm. might be a really cool spot to find some Beautiful yeah. artwork for your place. For sure. Yeah. And then in Copper Valley, we have the wine tasting and winemakers dinner. Mm -hmm. um, and the um, it, this is on Wednesday, April 6th. They have wine judging from uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, and then they have the wine tasting from 4 to 5.30. And then the winemakers dinner is on Thursday, April 7th at 4.30. Um, and you can reserve your tickets by either calling Robin at 209-783-9933 or you can visit, visit coppervalley.com slash events if you want to access them online. Mm -hmm. um, and that, again, is the wine tasting and winemakers dinner, um, which that should be fun. That should be really fun. Mm -hmm. Those are always a good time. Yeah, and the food is usually really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to cook dinner. Like, no, it's one you of don't. those things I love going to these events. And to tell you the truth, my husband cooks way more than I. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but again, it's one of those nice things where you're like, ooh, you get out, someone else makes you dinner, mm -hmm. you enjoy some wine and some company, and then. Yeah, yeah. and just kind of enjoy yourself. And, and it, it's nice because it's in the middle of the week. So yes. it's something a little bit different to do. And Copper Valley is just beautiful, too. It's just a, a really nice, the golf course is gorgeous. It's just a really nice feel to it. Which is always fun. There. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, I was just looking actually in Amador County. Mm -hmm. They have what they call Access Thursdays. Access Ooh. Amador Thursdays um, from March 10th to October 27th. So it started a little, little, a little bit ago. But we still have um, quite a while left. In yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. So it's it's a way for you to come in as a local and get a little bit of a discount in their local oh, wow. shops and local restaurants. So um, make sure you check that out. Access Amador Thursdays. That's on the Visit Amador, um, Amador Council Tourism website. And I do know that the Angels Camp Business Association has a third Thursday, I believe, of the month where they do the same thing in nice. Angel's Camp, too. Look so at that. Community really cool. helping community. Absolutely. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Wow. And you're going to go down there and see people you know. Exactly. <laughs> and I mean, and you shop local, you help out and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we also have the Arts Labs on Friday, which is still happening. Um, so mm -hmm. it's this Friday, April 1st. So yep. be prepared yep. for a little tricksters. Little but. tricksters. <laughs> they have the <laughs> seeding gold. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they have the uh, three time spots. So adults are from 9 to 1130, families 2 to 4, and teens are from 4 to 6. So mm -hmm. again, you can come and hang out with... Yeah. with like-minded people, age group, and make some new friends yep. and get creative. And just enjoy yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And then we also have the party parade, or party 
Pardee, Pardee. <laughs> which is a Sacramento <laughs> bike hikers um, cycling event. Yeah. Um, so, and it's $55 for 26 miles mm -hmm. and $65 for 62 miles. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to read about those events. I don't yeah. know if I like to do I would them. love to eventually be able to do it, but um, not this no, year. No, not this year. <laughs> Maybe next year. Um, <laughs> Which this is, it takes place in Ione. Um, so they start off at Church Street in Ione at Howard Park. Mm -hmm. um, and that's on April 2nd. So if you are not participating, but you are driving through, yep. be prepared because they will probably have detours yeah. or whatnot yeah, happening. Just be careful uh, during yes. those times. <laughs> and just, and I mean, this time of year in general, mm -hmm. cyclists start to really come up. We, we hit the maps probably, I want to say about six years ago, really hit the yeah. cycling maps. Well, and I mean, I started to notice, roads. yeah, you have to be so mm -hmm. careful, you know, so just be aware of that when you're driving around. Yes, yes for sure. Um, mm -hmm. And then all of our, we talked about this before, all of our museums and um, outside events are starting to open up yes. with tours. So you yeah. have the Kennedy Mine Gold Tour, our mm -hmm. Gold Mine Tours, you have the Sierra Nevada Logging Museum. Yeah. We have the caverns. So yeah. we have Black Cap, uh, Black Chasm Cavern, mm -hmm. California Caverns, Mercer Caverns, and Moaning Caverns. And we speaking have a lot of, of caverns, we up do. Here. We have yeah. so many of them, yeah. which is really cool, especially as the heat gets more. Yeah. We talked about this before. <laughs> you want a nice maintain, cool thing. A, they maintain a certain temperature oh, all the way through. It's so nice. It's you come really out and you're like, nice. oh, wait you're a like, minute. Oh, it's so hot out here. Can I do yeah. another tour? <laughs> exactly. And leave me Can for I just a couple sit hours. At the bottom for a while? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and speaking of moaning caverns, they're also hiring part-time tour guides. So if you know a teen or you yourself want to have like a really fun, yeah, fun just job. Just a little job, yeah. If you, and so, you know. And it keeps you active going up and down oh, those stairs. Yeah, you, so, get, <laughs> <laughs> you get in shape very quickly. <laughs> Which is nice. I mean, especially for a job that keeps you on your toes. My mm -hmm. grandfather did that up until I think he was in his 80s. Oh. He, he retired and he yeah. didn't have anything he was very interested in yeah. except for for, he was very, very, uh, he was a history buff. Okay. And so he did tours at the dam in Folsom. Oh, wow. And he did it all the way up into his 80s, which oh, is, cool. yeah, and he would do, and we would go and visit and do mm -hmm. tours with him, and it was really neat to see. That's a really cool thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, just that there, we have so many museums that can yes. actually use the volunteers. Mm -hmm. and, um, it, and, and especially when you retire and you're yeah. looking for a hobby. I mean, you know, the volunteering at do. museums and, I mean, getting these the little side jobs. Or the side jobs. It just yeah, keeps you cool. going. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. Oh, and then we have, this one isn't as much fun, but it's a necessity. <laughs> uh, we have the 2000 in our 2022, obviously, yeah, obviously. household <laughs> hazardous waste collection is coming up again this Saturday, April 2nd mm -hmm. from nine to one. So the, um, and this is at the Buena Vista waste transfer station in Ione, California. Mm -hmm. So this is an important event because this is usually when you can get rid of stuff that you can't usually get rid of like through paint and mm -hmm. oil and, and auto mechanic and stuff. Auto Stuff. And yep, yeah, and batteries, that stuff. Yeah. Uh, fluorescent light bulbs. Mm -hmm. um, they have a whole bunch of stuff, um, which I can read off some gasoline, brake yeah. fluids, pool chemicals. So if you're cleaning out your pool for summer mm -hmm. and you have expired chemicals you need to get rid of, yeah. mercury products, um, household cleaners, automotive batteries. Um, home use sharps. So if you have any kind of medical yeah. mm -hmm. um, injection needles, uh, non-empty aerosol cans, pesticides and insecticides, paints and thinners, um, old um, expired medications, fluorescent tubes um, and bulb household batteries um, in the electronic devices. So yeah. you can take any of that and have it um, disposed of properly. Yeah. Um, this weekend, April 2nd, from 9 to 1 p.m. at the waste transfer st uh, station in yeah, Iowa. Yeah, yeah. And, and we do know that obviously Calaveras has their own and Tuolumne mm -hmm. has their own too. So yep. as soon as we know about those ones, we'll let you know about those ones exactly. as well. But, you know, referring to the sharps, if you happen to need to dispose of those, 
it's free here, but if you dispose of them by sending them back in those little packets, you have to pay for that. I didn't know that. We always, yeah. we, I know the sheriff's office, office mm -hmm. I think, is another one where you can yeah, take Yeah, you can and, drop your meds mm -hmm. there and or old medications and, and the sharps as mm -hmm. well. But it's kind of a shock when they hand yes. you the box and they go, oh, that's like 150. No, I'm just joking. It's not 150. <laughs> but it's like, you know, here's, here, you know, mm -hmm. you get charged for them and then here you get charged to get rid of them too. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, take a take this opportunity. Take and then the again, opportunity if we for miss everything. Something, yeah. And yeah. and we have more. That this is just one of the stations that you can do this. Yeah. With, so. Yeah. Absolutely. So and then we've been touching on this one, and we're going to keep touching yeah, on this absolutely. one because they have a whole bunch of more um, opportunities yeah. to do. But we do have April 9th, so mm -hmm. one more week away. Um, or yes, one more Saturday. Mm -hmm. So we're going to touch on this one again next yes. week. Um, we do have the free vaccine, uh, rabies vaccine in the microchip drive through clinic for dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. And this again is at the government center in Calaveras. Um, and it's from t uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And you just drive up, you have your dog and cat taken care of, and then you drive away and it's yeah. all free. Which is really, really cool. Yeah. And then last time it was super busy. So it was, plan it ahead. was crazy busy. <laughs> <laughs> and we, and they have more events coming out it looks mm -hmm. like they do um, one every one to two months yeah that's, that's what, what they kind of spaced like. it out for this yeah. year so if you do so. miss this one but mm -hmm. and this is only open to Calaveras County residents only mm -hmm. so and then um, actually during last program we were going to tell you about where to see some of the wildflowers and we Ooh. actually never actually got to it. no we <laughs> did it <laughs> but they're still popping but they're up still popping up <laughs> more so than uh, last yeah. this week than last week. yeah so we did want to just uh, touch on the fact this actually comes from the Calaveras uh, Visitors Bureau um, so this is actually very focused on Calaveras County but there's places you can actually drive to see the wildflowers and actually hike to see the wildflowers oh, cool. as well and um, some of the lower elevation uh, wildflowers you can see from your car or over in the valley springs area which uh, on jenny lynn's milton road okay and then uh from copper highway four from mm -hmm. copperopolis to murphy's just drive up highway four and you're going to see these beautiful wildflowers wow. popping up everywhere dogtown road which is um a little bit off the beaten path mm -hmm. but uh that's from angels camp to murphy's and then in like sort of the back roads is uh, calaveritas road in uh from san andreas to angels camp and then of course when you go further back into the back roads road flat sheep ranch mountain ranch roads which Those makes sense because other, yeah it's so untouched some places oh, yeah. back there where Beautiful. it's just i don't know it's yeah. the flowers around here are absolutely amazing mm -hmm. so i commute from jackson yeah up to san andreas and i go through the like the yeah where, where um, mccallmy river is there's a certain road there, and I cannot remember the name of it, but yes, that's a very popular place. So yeah. Highway 49, yeah. um, and the poppies on the hillside are just, always wow, beautiful, gorgeous. and I, we live fairly close to it, so mm -hmm. it just looks like the hillside is on fire, Yep, and yep. it is I love it. It's like one of those things every year where you're like, oh, oh it's, just it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then actually outside of Amador City on Highway 49 in Amador County, mm -hmm. as you go north, uh, there are hillsides that just get filled with poppies mm -hmm. as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's such a wonderful time of year. Yeah. And then you can hike if you want to go back in, you know, hiking and walking. Uh -huh. There's New Maloney's, there's um, Tuttletown, Glory Hole, Comanche. Um, there's all sorts of amazing places. And then up country too. Yeah. I mean, all those lakes and everything yeah, you go big hiking trees, up there. Oh, Lake yeah. Alpine, mm -hmm. uh, Cat, um, what is it? Starts with a C. Anyway, um, <laughs> up Highway 88. Yeah. And then we have Amador uh, Flower Farm is. Oh, they're always, always amazing. <laughs> so. And I think we mention them every single we time. Do. But it, they are just amazing and they. They're really good with visitors. I mean, mm -hmm. you can go there and not spend a penny, no. and they are just like, enjoy our flowers. Yeah, exactly, and yeah. it's just one of those places you just want to go back to. Yeah. No matter yeah. what, you always mm -hmm. want to go back to year after year, and they always have really cool events. Absolutely, so. absolutely. And it's a longtime Amador family, the Deaver mm -hmm. family that owns it, so, mm -hmm. and they do a lot for the community as yes, well. Yes, they do. So. And I also found a film festival. 
Oh, yeah. So this is from 5 to 9 p.m. Okay. on April 2nd. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it is at the Sonora Elks Lodge. Okay. And it's their first annual film festival. So hopefully oh, they can keep doing this. Cool. And so they've been gathering two to five minute videos um, and they are um, going to view them and then rate them. And oh, awesome. yeah, so you can come check out some local work from 5 to 9 p.m. So this is Saturday. there a certain uh, theme for it? It doesn't say on here. Okay. I found this on mymotherlode.com. Okay. That's very cool. Um, and so I don't know exactly what it is, but it says community, family, and sports. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's centering yeah. around those. Those things. Um, That's very cool. Quite so, a few years ago, there was a lot. Uh, there were a lot of film festivals over in Tuolumne County, which makes sense. Twain Hard, Sonora. I, I wish mean, they would start bringing that back. Yeah, it's, it, it would be, be very really cool. really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I mean, I, I don't know. It's one of those things. Artwork, you get a little mm -hmm. piece of someone. Yeah, you and do. Film you do. work is the same way. You have yeah. this imagination, and mm -hmm. especially when you know the person. Or know that they're yeah. local, or mm -hmm. that you were. It's, you have it, a connection. Yeah, there's a connection with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so the film festival, they're going to be serving floppies pizza and other appetizers throughout the night. They're going to have Kona ice cream, um, the cop or cap off the night. Okay. Um, and it's an all age family night fun. So oh, nice. and it's they're raising money for, oh, um, for the up sports and coming park. sports. Okay. Yeah, cool. The sports park. So okay, um, which should be a lot of fun. Awesome. Um, I think actually. I think that's all I, I have. That's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we have for this uh, first week of April. Woohoo! Woohoo! But I still can't believe it's April. I still can't believe it. It's just, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing that it's April and, um, <gasps> you know, fair will be here in just a few seconds and then yep. Amador and then County summer. Fair will be here, you and know, then, and then summer mm -hmm. and all of the cool events that go on yeah. here in summertime. And then farmers markets, all of oh, those, yeah, those are going to be coming up. Gonna start mm -hmm. very, very soon. I think at the well. end of May is usually when May. they start popping up, and yeah. we'll cover that because yes, those absolutely. are, especially those are with, with, I mean, look, I mean the economy the way it is, mm -hmm. and they just announced that there will be a food shortage possibly. Yes, they um, did. so they we're did. going. I mean, shopping local is going to become kind of a necessity. I think at some yes, point, absolutely. So those farmers markets and stuff will become invaluable. They're so, great, and yes. they're also they're. They love to share information with yes. you too. So let's say you go to a person who grows awesome tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. So they're going to, if you ask them, how do you grow an awesome tomato? They They'll will tell, tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no one so, holds any of their secrets. And, no, they and don't. It's not just fruits and vegetables. Like no, the people it's make jams, jams and yeah. olive oil. And then there's, and there's local meat producers mm -hmm. too that you can find out, you know, uh, up here as well. So yep. it's it's a lot of different items you can get and they're all fresh and local. Yep. And you support our local economy. Exactly. Which is always awesome. Mm -hmm. And you get the freshest possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Fresh tomato sandwiches are oh, so good. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> but that's all we have. So yeah. and, and if, don't yeah. And if you have an event that we um, is coming up in the future and you'd like us to talk about, mm -hmm. um, definitely let us know. Yeah. Um, you can find us on any social media platform. Yeah. Um, and then we are also on YouTube, and you can see us on channel uh, seven and nine on Comcast. Yep. And then Volcano Vision channel mm -hmm. twenty one and twenty two, and Caltel uh, down in there in Copper on channel seven and as well so yeah make sure you reach out to us and um, we will get your event on here and we'll talk about it and who knows maybe we'll take our show on the road one day which would be so much fun that would be kind of cool so. <laughs> yes, <it> would be. <laughs> so just remember that and then just let us know what's going on yes so anyway right. so this is What's happening in What's the mother love? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're Sarah and Sarah. We'll Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> we will see you next week. Yes. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.